Responding to Russian President Vladimir Putin's move to recognize the independence of two separatist regions of Ukraine, President Biden announced yesterday that he was issuing new sanctions against Russia, denouncing what he called the beginning of a Russian invasion of Ukraine. I want to bring in now former State Department official and current member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, New Jersey, Congressman Tom Melanowski. It's good to have you here in studio with us. So welcome. Thank you. Um, you hear that? that? That's the phrase that was used, the beginning of a Russian invasion of Ukraine. There was some issue, ah, it's not really an invasion yet because he's just going to the separatist territories. Semantics there. Um, Russia has invaded Ukraine. Yes, and, and I think they want us to debate the semantics. They want us to spend the next few weeks arguing about the definition. Uh, and I think the Biden administration was very clear yesterday, we're not gonna play that game. This is an invasion, they crossed the line. It's time for us to act. Secretary of State Blinken uh, canceled the plans for a meeting with his Russian counterpart, uh, essentially saying, what's the point while tanks are rolling? So mm -hmm. what do we do then if we can, can diplomacy not continue until the tanks come back? That can't be the case. So what do we do? Well, diplomacy is always backed by action. Right. We're not going to persuade Putin with nice words. He wants to know what we're going to do. And I think President Biden uh, we, we got a good start yesterday announcing some very serious sanctions on Russian banks, on Russian sovereign debt. In the next few days, I expect them to roll out more sanctions on these Russian kleptocrats whose kids party in Miami and who buy up real estate in London and they're living it up with the money that they stole. Uh, that's going to sting. And look, he has invaded Ukraine, mm -hmm. but we do not yet see tanks rolling in to the capital of Kiev. We don't see planes bombing uh, cities across the country. He has not yet picked a fight with the Ukrainian military and we don't know if he's decided to do that. So I think there's still room here for persuasion by action. The action we're talking about here has to do with uh, essentially choking off in a lot of ways money. Yes. Uh, these sanctions. Uh, we talk about what the president has done. What can Congress do? Because there are some options and some talk, but haven't been able to get anything done in a bipartisan way. Is it possible? Do you see a way? And what would those sanctions look like from Congress? So actually, the president has the authority to impose all the sanctions that I think any of us would like him to impose. I'll tell you what, what's needed from Congress right now. And it's hard, but it's important. Mm -hmm. It's unity. It's talking to the American people and to the world with a single voice, that we do need to stand by Ukraine, that what Russia's doing is a threat. And in these partisan times, that's hard, but I think we've done better than average, at least in the last few weeks, holding this together. Congressman, you said it's hard. It seems impossible, even when we talk about something uh, like this, right? It's supposed to stop at the water's edge, right? This is yep. we're supposed to be bipartisan. And But look, what's our window of possibly being bipartisan? Because we are in a midterm election year, and folks don't get elected by saying, look, I, I, I work so well with the other side. <laughs> Uh, you know, in my district, it's actually popular to say that, but uh, set that aside. I, I think what, what, what all of us need to do, even if we disagree on some of the tactics, mm -hmm. is to talk to the American people and explain why this is important. Because it's a, it's a little country, it's far away, and I'll tell you why I think it's important. Because for decades, the United States, under Republican presidents, under Democratic presidents, has had a policy of trying to prevent dictators from changing borders with tanks. Mm -hmm big countries gobbling up small countries just because they can. That's how, we, that's how World War II started, right? That's what Hitler and Mussolini and Stalin used to do. And we've, we've done a good job preventing that. So this is not just about some little country mm -hmm. that, you know, that's asking for help. And by the way, they're not asking for US troops, yeah. right? They're just asking for support. This is about protecting a rule, a principle that protects all of us. Mm -hmm. And even if Republicans think Biden should impose this sanction or that sanction, I want all of us to look the American people in the eye and say, this is important to us. We've got to stand by Ukraine, oppose this Russian aggression. And what will you tell Americans now? What type of pain do they possibly need to get ready for back here because of economics? Yep. Uh, world economics could possibly change and could be changing um, your pocketbook right here in the US. That's right. So first, I'm gonna, I would tell my constituents were not alone in this. The Europeans, Germans, the Brits, the French, they're gonna suffer a lot more pain and they're standing with us. What could happen here? If we sanction Russia, Putin could try to make things hard for us. Um, he, he could uh, slow the spigot of, of oil exports, for example, to try to make gas prices rise in the United States. He could stage cyber attacks. He did yeah. last year. 
We have a response to that. We can hit back very, very hard. Um, I would say we cannot be intimidated. The United States, in a moment like this, we need to show strength. Uh, we need to stand up for our principles and for our allies, because it's a dangerous world out there. And if we allow these basic rules that have held the peace in the world for 70 years to be torn to shreds by this guy, it's going to come back and hurt us much more than anything he can do today. All right. You say we need to show strength and that unity. We are rooting for that unity in Thank D.C. You, I know you're going back to D.C. next we'll week. We'll do our best. It's good to have you in studio. Really, come on back anytime. Uh, New, New Jersey Congressman Tom Malinowski. So good to have you with us. Thanks so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.